All right, here we are. We got this little dungeon to do. I'm not mistaken, this should be the third, the last dungeon in the game. After this, there's one, there's two more dungeons after this. One being the final one, so the next one's the penultimate. You just look at this place. I wish there were more areas like this in Star Ocean 5. Better late than never, I guess, but like, you know. Even so. Star Ocean 3's Disc 2 does... Star Ocean 3's Disc 2 isn't perfect, but uh, it does a lot better than this. This is like equivalent to what Star Ocean 3's Disc 2 is, but this one's done a lot worse, I feel. Just as I my clothes are all dirty. Get over it, Fiore. Get some new clothes. It ain't that hard. Ooh, Solid Protector. So I think I can equip on Fidel. Oh, they already have it, so basically what I'm hearing is it's a waste of my time. Did I ever set rules? Yeah, we have rules set. We'll probably do some role learning at the end of this place once we get to a save point or something. I also forgot we have the uh, item that gives us the ability to see. Oh, it's a gunner. This is the enemy from, uh, this is from Star Ocean 3, the Sentry Rays. They're called Eliminators in this game. Gotta be careful for Miki, though. You know what? Never mind. I was gonna Ethereal Blast. I don't think I need to. He's dying a lot faster than I thought. Die? Goodbye? Can never get rid of the best thing ever. What's the, uh... There's Abyssal Gate. I was looking for that one. Hey, I'm over here now. Die. Spear Blade. Right, nice job, nice job. Ba, 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 ba. Can I? Some of these down in a notch. There we go. Bring the music back up. I like the battle theme. I love What a Breeze, I think is what it's called. Such a good track. I got mixed syrup. And I got a laser oscillator. Oh, more. I might use Ethereal Blast here. Actually, never mind. They don't take that long to die. Guess what? Abyssal Gate. Into Ethereal Blast. It's over. Oh, beautiful. Look at that damage. You love to see it. More challenges, lie ahead. More challenges do lie ahead. Hello, game? Can I? Thank you. Oh my goodness. Emerson's dead. Wish I knew I had items before this. Coming through. Dead. Oh, this just got really dicey. I, I can't go back and get items, can I? I'm gonna need them. I should have been paying attention if I have fresh stages, but I don't. That man's dead, oh no. And I have no way to get people up. That's really unfortunate. Do I have any, uh... Did they bring them back to one in this game? I can't recall. Oh my goodness. Do you mind? Get these stupid scholars out of here. Stop? Hello? Why did they do so much damage? I get it, we're late in the game, but still, calm down. Get the caster. Oh my goodness. Stupid, stupid status ailment. Stop. Oh my goodness. I please move. Out of here. You know what? Nah. We're not doing this. Why are these enemies so difficult? Hey, have, how about some invincibility? As a field loser, I wish that killed you. Coming through. All right, you're dead. All right, this should be fine now. Man, that got scary. Die, please. Why was that so annoying? 
I'm going back to heal and save. Okay, yeah, they bring them back to one. No, they don't. Dang it. All right. Oh, dang it. There's more enemies. This is really, really unfortunate. No big deal if the game just lets me run. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. There's nothing I can do. Heal, 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 heal. Thank you. There's no way- I Oh my goodness, dude. This is so annoying. I don't think I saved either. Oh, I love getting stunlocked and dying. It's be the best thing ever, honestly, dude. It's straight up the best thing ever. I don't think I saved once today. Screw off. It's so stupid. Alright, those guys are dead. We do have max fresh sages now. So, you know, I hope we can get through this place. Dude, I had no idea the enemies would be this annoying. <laughs> it's insane. Luckily, we weren't super far in the dungeon. But, you know. Man, that was so annoying how I died and I just couldn't move, though. That was, like, ridiculous. Ow. Yeah, yeah, feel the burn, feel the burn. I heard Mickey use Volcanic Burst. Die? Boy soldier. Oh my goodness, it's actually a little robot. That's so funny. I like that enemy design. Completely forgot about that thing. Also because this game, like, I wiped it out of my memory. Dude, toy soldiers, that looks so good. Looks like an enemy you would fight on Fodra in Tales of Graces. Kind of like the humanoid enemies in Bathurst Citadel. Man, Tales of Graces is great. 2023 can't come soon enough. I can't wait to do another playthrough of that game. I love it so much. There's a, re there's a reason it's my second favorite game of all time. Along with Grandia. Oh, Mickey's dead, but at least now I can get her up because I have a... Uh, fresh Sages. Fresh Sages? I said that weird. I like combine Fresh Sage into one word for some reason. Hey, stop having the stupid uh, fog ailment. Die. Oh, thank you, Miki, for the fairy light. You'll love to see it. You're dying. Goodbye. No magic for you. I'm also going to save my reserve rush for something more dangerous because you never know if uh, something more dangerous will happen. I don't need to go to that dead end because there is no chest. So I'm not going to bother. Be gone. Nice mirror blade. Over that way, there's a uh, chest. Ah, oh, the toy soldiers are back. I do like that you can cancel some arts, like a uh, mirror blade, for example. Dude, I love Abyssal Gate. It doesn't look as cool as Dimension Door. It's essentially the same thing, so it's useful. Ooh, new roll. Let's take a look at that later. Essentially the same thing as uh, Dimension Door, because it's like the same. It's based on Dimension Door, but Dimension Door with Fate looks so much cooler. With the like red and black color scheme. So awesome. Abyssal Gate just looks like a cheap version of it. Still has its use, at least. We're honing in on the enemy in an instant. Helps a lot with later bosses and cancel bonusing. Die? Thank you. Thank you. Anti paralysis amulet and carbon fiber. And what is that the second thing already? I think it, I think it just put both of those things at once. Yo, level three? We do have the sword with Fidel that like increases reserve rush, don't we? It'd be nice to try and get it to five, at least once for the playthrough, but today might be that day. Suddenly the enemies aren't annoying, what's going on? And before anyone says, oh no, but you bought fresh sages, no one's died. Did I just get unlucky because the sentry, the eliminators are annoying and I just got really unlucky? That must be it. Look at the stars. For Miki or, oh, Fiore, had they both have it. Alright, so what I'm hearing is it's worthless. But, um, 
I just got unlucky, I guess. It looked like I didn't get that chest. I don't know why. I guess I just got unlucky, which is annoying. Are we getting there? We get all oh, more of them. Here comes the annoyingness. Honestly, these uh these mages are annoying as well. It's kind of hard to decide who to get first. Sentry cannon, the sentry rays are annoying. I remember them. They're from Star Ocean 3, and they were annoying in that game too. These mages are also kind of yeah. This is where it starts going down south a little bit. It's just this enemy group then. Okay, just this enemy group that's really annoying. Everything else is not a problem. It's literally just this enemy group, and I had no fresh sages. I'm gonna let Miki get them up. Never mind, I'm gonna help her because she can't do anything for crap. Oh, now now Miki's dead. Lovely. Right, can I get Ann up? Probably not, but it'd be nice. Please let me get Ann up. Perfect. All right, perfect. Got everyone back. Nice. Let's go fight these guys, even though there's no chest. Oh, the toy soldiers. Now we have to. That's not what I wanted to do. It's fine, though. Get this one, because he might attack Miki. Die. There we go. All right, Miki, get the fairy lights going. Awesome, awesome. Just as I said it. That video recording was like 26 minutes. I divided the, uh, as you, I mean, you could probably tell. I'm gonna, I don't know how it's gonna work when it goes on YouTube, but I edited it, obviously. I'm not gonna, I wasn't gonna show myself watching the cutscene again, salting about the game or not being able to skip the cutscene, so I saved you all the trouble. But I believe that was a 26 minute part, so I need to make this 34 minutes. 34 minutes will make this an hour. Maybe a little more than 34 minutes just to make it like, you know, if it's exactly an hour, then you're bound to have some inconsistency in videos because of cutscenes and all. So, you know, about 34 minutes, though, is what I need then. The mirror bladed. Oh, let's go. Beautiful. All right, second screen. Let's go. Oh, we're almost done. We're like basically smack dab half th halfway through. Oh, you, Guardian Beast. I remember you. You look like a you look like a um, God Eater enemy, and I know what you're thinking. No, but have you played God Eater? I have not played God Eater, but Project X Zone, a game I remember liking. I really have to do it for the channel at some point. Project X Zone. It's not like super high on my priority list. I would like to replay Project X Zone because that is kind of what made me want to get Tales of Vesperia. Because Yuri and Estelle and Flynn are in that game. But Project X Zone, in case you don't know, it's like a crossover between Capcom, Sega, and Namco. So they have characters from multiple ga- oh my goodness. They have characters from multiple games and God Eater is one of them. So I know of God Eater because of that. And I think Tales of Vesperia had like a God Eater crossover. You could fight like the Aragmes or whatever. So, yeah, I, I gotta play Project X Zone again. I'll do it for the channel at some point. It's not like super, like, I gotta do this this year or anything. It's just a game I want to do at some point. I can honestly wait a little bit to do it. It's a game that means a lot to me because, you know, it, it gave me, other than the fact that I was in Tales of because I liked Symphonia, I think Vesperia was my second Tales game. I played Symphonia and then I played, I played Symphonia and then I played Project X Zone. There's two games. The first one was mad. The first one was a neat idea. The second one was a lot better because the first one like had chapters and maps that dragged on. It was way too long and padded than it should have been. Uh, the second one's a lot better. Um, but yeah, they have Yuri and Estelle and Flynn. So other than the fact that I played Symphonia and loved it and found my new series that I would try to get into the games of. Project X Zone was like the push that was like, yeah, I have to find out what game these guys are from and play their game. 
give me the push to play Vesperia and get my Xbox 360 set up because, you know, I, I rarely used it. All I used it for was Sonic 06. And my brother was quite into, like, Call of Duty, so I used it. We kind of shared it. It was mostly his because, you know, Xbox doesn't really have much exclusives that I care about. My brother mostly played on the Xbox, so I ended up using his to play Tales of Vesperia. And... Sonic 06 I got at one point. I played it on Xbox. So, you know, Project X Zone is a pretty important game to me. I want to do it on the channel at some point. I don't know if I'm going to do the first and the second one. Or just the second one. Either way, Project X Zone is a good ways off. But it'll happen eventually. I'll have to do it via Citra, though. Which, you know, if, if they're available, hopefully they're playable on Citra. Die, toy soldier. We got a save point coming up, which is nice. I would hate to have to do progress again. It's the end already? This can't be the end. I have so many save files. I remember that one file corrupted. That's probably why. I mean, I've edited. Honestly, I'm so behind on YouTube. I think part 14 is going up today. I've, I'm going to speed up the upload a little bit. I didn't want to speed it up and then be out of videos. Looks like Federation curs have come barking up our tree. Relocate the test subject at once. Sir? This is why I told you. When you go to the research lab, put that one in the shuttle as well. So, one of the kiddos is apparently inside that room while the others in the research facility. I'm pretty sure our plan is to rescue them both, right? Then why don't we start with the one in front of us? It's as Miki says, we should help her. Okay. It looks like... Okay, they're gonna have... Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to go to the bolt, so we'll go to the one in front of us first then. It's settled. Ooh, resurrection mist, not bad. So we'll go that way later. We'll just do this one first. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. But yeah, I, I uploaded like one video a day. Mostly because I had like Shadows of Valentia. I had so much to upload. It wasn't really because Star Ocean was like behind. I had like Shadows of Valentia had a big backlog, so I had to finish uploading that. Then Tales of Destiny and Leon's side, I had a couple of videos I wanted to upload. Luckily, that's all uploaded at this point. So now at this point, the only things being uploaded are the playthroughs I'm doing now. Like Persona 4, which is going to be done soon. And then Dragon Quest XI. Okay. But yeah, I'll probably... And FF10 too, I'm still playing through that. So I'll definitely speed up the uploads for Star Ocean 5. I'll start uploading 3 a day. And get it more on YouTube. Die. A mirror bladed. This Chronos Authority has so much health. Look at our look at our reserve rush bar. It's at level four. I almost never see that. I don't build it up to five all that much. Ready for pain? Oh, get him, Miki. Stone rain him. Hey, Miki, you want to like get up? Uh, and thank you. I was waiting for that. Die. Do you understand the position you're in? Think it over. You have a lot more to lose by doing that than us. Still, I'd rather blow her brains out than let the Federation get its paws on her. <laughs> Victory is mine! And so are your weapons. Hand them over. Don't take a single step forward. You know very well what'll happen if you do. Oh, do I? Yo, nice. for the most adept swordsman in all of Rasulia, indeed. You okay? Uh, yep, I'm okay. That was sudden. Do do? Don't even think of leaving my side. Okay, 
no, no, no! Our plan! Not a single one of you is getting out of here alive! I think if you move, I think I remember trying to move up to him, and I, you get, I think if you, sh if you move up to, uh, the Kronos Commander, I don't know why it's so hard to talk today. I think if you move up to the Kronos Commander, you actually get shot, and it counts as a game over. I think I remember doing that when I first played the game.